Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about how I upgraded the hard drive on my Dell Precision T3610 workstation. I bought the device from Amazon as a refurb. Um, hey, look, it came in. It's from France. It's Fragile. Uh, sorry, a little joke there from the Christmas story. Um, came in. It was very well packed, as you can see. Um, they used the spray-in foam, which I had, t you know, a couple of inches of installation all the way around the device here's what it looked like on the inside but the one thing i didn't really like a couple of things i didn't like one is it came with a spinning 500 gig hard drive i believe it was a western dig i don't have it in front of me right now but anyway i've got a couple of hard drives that i wanted to install um they're both ssds or 2.5 ssds so i've got a 3.5 in there is what came so I'm just going to remove the case, uh, pop the cables off, and then this is really easy. You just push the clips on the side and the whole shuttle comes out with the drive in it. It's easy enough to remove the drive. For some reason I went off screen for a second, but you just pop the little shuttle off the drive there. But now my problem is I've got two 2.5 inch um, SSDs that I want to install, and I've got one shuttle that holds the 3.5 inch drive. So I bought from Amazon this little device that is a um, Corsair device that holds dual SATA drive, dual SATA 2.5 drives in one um, cage that is meant to hold about the size of a single 3.5 inch uh, drive, if that makes sense. So you can see here, I'm going to play with trying to put it into the shuttle here. It, takes me a minute and a little while I'm going to figure out what I'm doing I'm like look it fits in here and then I'm like oh it doesn't fit and I'm like oh dirt wait a minute oh if I turn it around and make it go right it clips right in so that's the idea so you clip that device into your shuttle and you have room for two of the um, 2.5 inch SSDs there so it's a great little, I think I paid like five bucks for this thing on Amazon. It's great. I've got a link to it in the description of the video here, as well as a link to the, the uh, computer itself. And one of the other things I wanted to upgrade, which I've already done a video on, is the RAM. I went from, it's supposed to come with 8 gigs, came with 16, but uh, I ended up upgrading it to 128. So I'm, I'm speeding this video up here of me installing these drives, because I know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me fumble around with this for a while. Um, so real quick, the two SSDs that I'm going to install, I've got a Samsung SM863A, which is a 480 gig SATA 6 gig per second drive, and I've got a Micron 5100 SSD, which is 3.8 terabytes, same thing, it's also a 6 gigabit per second drive. So just be careful when you're putting the, the drives back in and connecting your cables, this computer has both um, 3.0 gigabit per second connectors and 6.0 gigabit per second connectors. Make sure you use the 6 gigabit per second connectors on your 6 drives. That way you're getting the best performance possible. Um, my cables are actually labeled on the end so it's easy to tell. I'm not sure if they're all labeled that way but on my T3610 they are. So that made it really easy. So I got those installed and may have scratched the table a little bit and I'll tell my wife. Um, anyway, it's kind of, the, the little Corsair cage is kind of rough. It definitely could use a little extra sanding there. But if I would have had any sense, I would have had some kind of rubber mat down to work on anyway. But So once you get the drives installed into the cage, you want to put the cage in the shuttle. And this is actually my second attempt at doing this. I did it once on a video I'm not going to show you where I put the whole put the drives in completely upside down and nothing would work um, just a big mess so I'm showing you the the corrected version where I actually did it the right way once you get the drives installed and get in the shuttle it simply Hi. clicks in and of course my wife asked me a question while I'm talking while I'm yeah. doing this here so I've got to talk for a second well she's talking I'm just saying yeah uh huh that's about my communication style. Okay, so now once you get them installed, connect both of your uh, SATA connectors, and you're going to connect your power connectors. Piece of cake. I mean, I ended up, I've got spots. I could put another one of these. Um, if I had another shuttle, I could 
get a shuttle put in there, another cage, spend about 20 bucks and be able to put in two more SSDs in the exact spot. It would be really easy to um, really increase my space. But right now I've got my OS and program set up on the 480 gig and then the 3.8 terabyte is just for video storage. It's where I render to. It's where I pull video from. Um, works really, really good. It was really, really fast. Um, the other upgrade that I did on this box that I don't have a video for is I upgraded it, the video card. It came with a Quadra 600, which I was having issues with getting the driver to work on Windows 10 correctly. Um, I ended up finding on Facebook Marketplace, I found a NVIDIA Quadra K5000, which was one of the options that you could get stock in this guy. So I knew it would fit and I knew it wouldn't be overrun the power of this device does have the upgraded power supply in it. I still wanted to make sure I was within the power specs. So I bought the uh, the nice drive. I am sorry. Bought the nice controller um, used, put it in, and man, it works great. It's, I've done that since I made this video, so you won't see the, the new card in there. So again, wipe off the scratches. Don't tell the wife. All right, put the case back on. Snap it closed. You're done. Got the drives installed, ready to go. If you liked any of this, learned anything, please like, subscribe, comment on my videos. Hope you guys have a great day. Everyone stay safe during this crazy time.